We begin this half hour with breaking news in the capital city. Fire ripping through a building currently. Thanks for starting your morning with us. I'm Ashley Afonso. And I'm Tim Lammers. Let's get right out to Fox 61's Keith McGilvery. He's keeping an eye on this as the flames still considerable as of last check a couple minutes ago. Keith, how does it look now? Tim and Ashley, good morning. The breaking news here, those flames considerable indeed. Want to take you right up here to this structure at the intersection of Capen and Garden Street this morning. We have been here just a couple of minutes, and in that time, we have just seen them shoot through the roof of this building. Neighbors have been out on their front porches watching this for the better part of the last hour. First on Fox 61, the assistant fire chief here, Rodney Corpo, is joining us this morning. Assistant chief, quite a scene out here. Describe for me what's happening. Uh, so around 525 this morning, we got a call for a reported structure fire upon arrival. The first due uh, engine company, which is engine seven, uh, noticed that there was flames and smoke coming from all floors, called it a working fire. At that time, all uh, responding units, which is approximately nine units, there was uh, five engines and three trucks. Uh, we did not make entry because all floors was, uh, the second floor was totally involved. So we uh, set up our aerial towers and we did a, a defensive operation. What do we know at this point? I've been told that the building was vacant. What do we know about anyone inside? Any injuries at this point? So far, no injuries, no civilians in the building has been vacant for uh, several years now. Sir, as we take a live look at the flames just ripping through this building, understanding that every fire scene is different for you and your crews, talk about the dynamic involved when tackling a structure fire in what is very much a residential neighborhood. These buildings are awfully close together. So the, the dynamic thing about this building, it was a mixed occupancy, which it had a storefront on the bottom and uh, a residential on the second floor but everything was boarded up. We had to call in an extra ladder tower so because we had bars on the windows. Uh, that's just part of our protocol, but being that this building was under renovations, and as we know, uh, a couple summers ago, it started leaning out, which means you know, the bricks started falling apart, so uh, automatically it was unsafe for us to enter. Earlier this week, I spoke with the mayor in New Britain talking about water shortages and precautions that they've taken in that community. That not the only community uh, facing difficulty. A lot of water being used out here. Talk about your supply. What does that picture look like and do you have what you need here? Uh, so Harford definitely has a, a generous water supply when it comes to fighting fires. Um, we definitely have a lot of resources, so the, the demand for water was very sufficient. What about the stamina involved in here? I suspect that this will not be out quickly. How are you rotating men and women in and out? What does that shift structure look like? Uh, so our next shift will begin at eight o'clock. And um, once that shift gets in, we'll start uh, rotating people in and out company by company. But as for now, there's, there's not a, a lot of physical activity because it's a defensive operation. So as you can see from the picture, we set up our apparatus in such a way as to get all sides of the building flooded with water. And as we're taking a live look again, I wonder if you would just for our viewers at home, describe the strategy for us as you're tackling this fire. What is the goal? How have you positioned yourself here for optimal success? So we, we position an aerial tower on each side of the building along with uh, 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 steam guns so that we can really get each side of the building from uh, the roof portion of it. Uh, since we can't go in, uh, the best strategy is to for the fire to burn through the roof and then we shoot water down into the building from the top. Any potential concerns as we still see flames shooting through the roof here about it spreading to neighboring buildings? Are you taking measures to kind of keep neighbors aware? Has anybody uh, vacated surrounding properties? Uh, so yes, on the rear side of the building, there is a structure, but it, it's not a residential structure. It's just used for storage. We do have a line in place just to protect from uh, flame and heat impingement. How are your men and women doing out here? Are they okay? Uh, yes, sir, they are. They're, they're doing very well. They, they, we have a well-trained department, a lot of uh, experienced young men and women 
dealing with this type of situation. Assistant Chief, we so appreciate your time this morning. We certainly know it is busy again live here at the intersection of Cape and Gordon Street this morning. This massive structure fire here. When we talk about everyday heroes, let it be those men and women of the Hartford Fire Department who are very much continuing to tackle this structure. Obviously, as we learn new information, we will bring it your way. But for now, with the breaking news in Hartford, I'm Keith McGilvery, Fox 61 News. All right, thank you, Keith. Some good news there. We know that it was a vacant building, as we just learned from the assistant chief there. They said that building had been yeah. vacant for some time, so no concern there. The second floor fully involved when they arrived. And there is a lot of smoke that has come out and yeah. has spread over the city. We've actually been talking about that with Dan Amaranti, too, because he said there's what he calls an inversion, sort of where air and smoke can't rise, so it's starting to spread throughout the city. We can smell it here in our studios. We can also see see the smoke pulling out on city cams as well. So uh, there's going to be a lot of people affected, at least nasally <laughs> from, <laughs> yeah. from this. But uh, and an, some an road closures thing. as they continue to fight that. So Correct. Maggie Sliz is going to stay on top of that and show you how to get around if you use that area often.